So I'm here in Adelaide at the OSCO Train the Trainer Conference. Every year, uh, trainers from around the world, from all of the different areas, come together to talk about their program delivery. And I'd like to introduce Paola, who provides those services, to tell you a little bit more about OSCO. Well, I'm Paula Kowski and I work for an organisation called AOM. We are funded by the Government of Australia to provide cultural orientation to refugees who come to be resettled in Australia. What do we do? Refugees come from a variety of backgrounds. Many of them have lived for many, many years in absolutely poor conditions, with no housing, proper housing, uh, very basic uh, accommodation, sometimes it's a tin shed or a piece of plastic. And therefore, their lives have been disrupted to such an extent that to bring them into a new society like Australia requires a degree of um, preparation, and we need to prepare them and uh, provide some sort of orientation to what they can expect. So what we do, we spend five days in which we talk about a number of things, such as the culture of Australia, what kind of housing they're going to find, how to look after their houses, Basic things like how to travel on an airplane, because many of them have never even been on an airplane, so it's their first time, so we've got to teach them about that. Um, talk about the, 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 the fact that Australia is a safe country, that the police are their friends and therefore they need not fear the police. Talk about the education system, how they need to be involved in their children's education. Talking about different levels of discipline in their children. Some of them come from cultures that believe that to discipline a child is to actually to beat them with, uh, with uh, a high level of violence. And you have to explain that you know, in Australia that's not allowed. But not just that it is not allowed, but giving them some strategies on how they can use a different way of disciplining the children, like withholding privileges or taking the, the not allowing them to watch TV. The, TV or not to go to a football game, which is something that most uh, young people want to do. So it's quite a different approach. And so OSCO is not just about information about Australia, but teaching them to acquire some basic skills and making them aware of the behaviours that are acceptable in Australia and the ones that are not acceptable. So that's what we do. Oh, I see. Um, thanks very much to Carla Kansky. As you've heard, she's from IOM and delivers Australian cultural orientation programs. It's a wonderful way of making that first step for people who are coming to Australia to settle as refugees. OSCO is their first taste of what Australia will be like. So we're very grateful to the services provided because it's, it's part of a, a very challenging journey for many people. But to come to Australia as a refugee, it's an opportunity for us as Australians to be the warm, compassionate, welcoming community that we are and play our role in supporting people in need.